Okay, so this video is going to be on how to use the Cholestec LDX um, machine. What this does will measure uh, cholesterol, it'll measure glucose, it'll measure HDLs, LDLs. Um, the big thing is it all depends on what cassette you're using. This cassette here is total cholesterol glucose, so that's what we will be getting readings back for today. But again, there's other cassettes that will measure different things of just total cholesterol, HDLs, LDLs, all different sorts of things. Cassette's the biggest thing of what's going to go. Um, safety information, obviously make sure you have gloves, make sure you have safety glasses, we're dealing with blood, so we need to make sure that we have the proper safety attire. We will be dealing with needles, um, which are what you see here, these are disposable, one use disposable needles. They will retract back into this plastic covering, but we always have to be careful because we are dealing with sharps. First thing we need to do before we, we actually test any um, samples from a subject is we need to calibrate this machine. What we have here is calibration cassettes. They are very similar to the cassettes that we're going to be putting the sample on, um, but again, these are just simply for calibration purposes. So you open this up, and you can see the cassette sits in here. If we open this up, we hit run. It's going to say self-test running, and eventually this will open up. Okay. So the cassettes will only fit in one specific way. Um, this is the proper way. If we notice, there's a little, I know it's kind of maybe tough to see, but there's a little finger pointing on here. Um, if you run your finger over that, you will kind of feel an, uh, uh, an indent here. That side needs to go up on all these cassettes. Okay, so it should look something like that. If we flip it over, if you notice, there's actually indents in here, so it's pretty easy on the cassette, on the calibration cassettes to figure out which side it goes. But again, it goes this way, all the information sitting up like that. It gets placed into the machine. Make sure you push it down that it sits flat and hit run. And then it will say test running and it'll go through a period and give back the results of the calibration. <laughs> okay. Okay. We have two parts um, that are gonna be important uh, to our cholesterol measurement. We have a capillary tube here on the right side and we have basically uh, a stopper slash pusher, which is the black stick on the left side. These will actually go together. Our blood sample will go into this capillary tube, and that's what we will allow us to push the sample into the cassette that we were going to insert into the Cholestec machine. So how this works, if you notice, there's a black line and a red line. The stopper goes on the side with the red line. We place it in right like that. If it goes all the way down to this black line, which is actually a small stopper inside the capillary tube, so it should sit right like that. When we take our sample, we will use this end of the capillary tube and we'll place that over the um, blood sample from our subject. And little by little, it will continue to suck the blood up all the way up to this black stopper and that'll be a big enough sample for our cassette. Okay? So, with our subject, the first thing we need to do is clean um, the finger that we're going to use. We use a simple alcohol swab for that. We're going to be using the pointer finger of our subject here. So we simply just take the alcohol swab and we rub, uh, wipe down the whole tip of the finger. The sides, um, all the way at the tip, and then the pad of the finger itself. Okay. We need to make sure that we let that dry before we do any type of um, finger stick because the rubbing alcohol will actually throw off the values um, if for any reason that gets um, into the sample. All right. As that dries, we can get ready our um, uh, finger stick apparatus, or these are called a uh, uni stick, a uh, one-use disposable lancets. Okay. If you notice, there's a gray top to this. What simply that is is to protect the needle while, uh, while it's not being used. Simply you just twist this and if you notice it starts to push itself up, just keep twisting and eventually it will pop out. Now, the important thing to remember, this is already loaded. So as soon as you take that gray cap off, if you touch this flange here, it's going to uh, eject the needle. So we need to be careful as soon as that gray top comes off, leave that on till the last moment possible. Okay. Our finger's dry now. We can get our sample. We're going to go towards the tip of the finger. If you look here, oh, wait a minute. there's actually a flat side to the uh, front of this lancet. We need to make sure we apply a little bit of pressure and get that as flat against the skin as possible so we get a proper um, stick. 
So it'll look something like this. If you notice, I'm going off a little bit to the side. Usually the skin's a little bit easier to puncture on the side of the finger rather than the immediate tip. Again, be very careful. We're using sharps. Apply a little bit of pressure, push, and if you notice, our stick goes and we start to get our sample right there. Okay, again, this first sample might be contaminated with the rubbing alcohol that we, we use, so we wipe away that first sample. And we continue to slowly work the finger to get our samples. Now, we need a fairly large blood sample for these cassettes. Okay, so you may have to do maybe a second or third finger stick, unfortunately, for the subject um, to get enough blood for this. As you can see, our subject today isn't really bleeding for us. Um, but just to quickly show you guys, and we'll eventually get a big enough sample, but this blood droplet that forms, we take our capillary tube, place it right against, and if you can see, it will actually suck up um, that droplet. So again, we would continue to do this process of forming a droplet, okay, and you can use the same um, finger stick as, as long as you can, um, but we can, would continue to do that until we fill it all the way up to that black stopper that's in the capillary tube, okay? So if we... Okay. All right, so we now have our full sample here. If you notice, our capillary tube is completely filled to that black stopper, okay? Next thing we're gonna do is get out our cassette. They come individually packaged out of the uh, cardboard box. They are refrigerated, so we don't wanna leave these out too long. Um, we need to only take them out when, when needed. So we open it up. It looks very similar to our calibration cassette. You notice our little finger pointing here, right in this little opening, right above my fingers, where the okay. is where the blood sample is going to go. There's a little piece of filament paper that's right at the top of this um, that will suck up the blood sample. We need to make sure that whole filament paper is colored red with our sample before we can place it into the machine. Okay. So what we do is we place this down. We place the end of the capillary tube right into the opening. So I know it's a little difficult to see, but there's a little opening right here, right at the bottom of the paper. We push it to the tip of that filament paper, and then we push our black piece. And if you notice, that filament paper starts to turn red. And we continue to push very slowly, and you can see that paper start to fill up. Um, typically, it will take most of this sample. Sometimes you'll start to see a little bit of a backflow here. Um, just pause for a second and it'll continue to pull that sample up. Okay, until our whole sample is in there. Okay, we place this in a sharps container. These capillary tubes are glass, so we would make sure to deposit this in a sharps container. All right, with the cassettes, be very careful. Again, we have somebody's body fluids that are exposed. We wanna make sure we don't come in contact with that as best we can. That's why we have our gloves on. For the Cholestec machine, we start it up by hitting run. And this shelf will open up. Okay, same thing, place that cassette right in just like we did with the calibration cassette. Make sure it sits flush. Okay, once it's in, hit run, and it will begin its process. 